Happy Valentine's Day to everyone watching. I'm Adrian, and we're back at Butterfield Market to experience what the holiday looks like at the store. I hear they're going to have some Valentine's Day inspired food and some fun activities happening throughout the store. We're gonna to talk to some of the staff, so let's go have some fun and take a look for ourselves. I'm here with Sebastian, the proprietor and owner of Flowers and Creations in Butterfield Market. How are you doing today? Very good, and you? I'm good, thanks. I'm just so thankful you're taking time to speak with me on what I'm assuming is one of your busiest days of the year. It's one of the most busiest, yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. so tell me a little bit about your preparation for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's almost uh, 1,800 uh, 1, roses we purchased, oh we need to gosh. prepare. So almost 2,000 roses you've prepared yeah. for all of this. Yes. That's amazing. Do you have any specific busy times of day on Valentine's Day for folks picking up arrangements? Uh, yeah, uh, the morning, then at noon, and then at the... the, the after work hours. After work hours, yeah. Swooping in can... and getting those roses on their way home from work. I see you're a very yeah. popular guy. <laughs> Sebastian is always popular, but on today I'm realizing <laughs> you are the most popular man. And just tell me, because I know when we were talking earlier about pricing and it's really important to you to keep pricing consistent. Can you tell yeah. me a little bit more about that? So, uh, of course, for all the holidays, all the price of the flowers raise, mm -hmm. but here at Butterfield, we don't change any price. We keep the same price all the year long because uh, we love our customer every day yeah. and we don't want to raise the price for just one day mm -hmm. or just one holiday, so we keep the, always the same price all the year long. That's amazing, Always. and I definitely think that helps build a sense of community. As I said, just yeah. standing here with you, I see so many repeat customers, and they're coming back to you for Valentine's Day for flowers for their loved ones on this special day. Yeah, to share their love, to share yeah. their love to uh, husband, uh, yeah. their wife, or their friends. friends. Yeah, there's yeah. no specific. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Sebastian, for your time. You're very really welcome. <laughs> Wishing you best of luck today. I'm going to head further to the store and check out more of these amazing Valentine's Day treats. So I'm here with Sarah, the Purchasing Director for Butterfield Markets. Can you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Sure. Um, so I am the Purchasing Director. I've been here for about two years. Mm -hmm. um, I oversee all of the items that come in, all of the assortments. Um, I work with all of our vendors. So we work with a lot of local vendors. Um, you know, we really try and promote, um, you know, smaller companies in the area. Um, and you know, try and collaborate on a lot of things, um, do things exclusively, things like that to get their name out. Um, you know, for Valentine's Day, we are working with this company called the Hana Berries. I saw those. Yes. So you have exclusivity with Hana Berries? We do, wow. we do. So this is a uh, Korean strawberry that is being vertically grown in New Jersey and they're really sweet and they're delicious and we sell them in our produce section um, but for Valentine's Day we also dipped them in chocolate ourselves and did a whole special packaging oh and they're really gosh. special um, and they're really sweet and they're beautiful and um, it's something unique for the store. That's so, so unique. It's, so do you want to tell me a little bit more? We're standing here in the bakery section. Some of the special baked goods that you have here in store for Valentine's Day? Yeah, so the Hana Berries are special. We also have um, in our own commissary, our own kitchen, uh, we made strawberry crullers. We always have a regular crawler, but we did a holiday pink and red strawberry crawler for the holiday. Uh, we also have some large and mini cupcakes that we're doing um, in Valentine's colors, which are very special. Um, and then outside of our kitchen, we brought in, uh, we have a company called Bobka Bailout that we work with. We have our own Bobka, your signature chocolate and cinnamon that we do. But Bobka Bailout is local, and um, she does a lot of sort of um, fun, festive, uh, decorative pieces. So we did uh, a Valentine's Day Bobka with her. Um, yeah, and we also are working with um, a company called City Cakes. Oh, yes. They're downtown. They're more famous for their cakes. They do really beautiful, elaborate cakes. Mm -hmm. um, but we carry their line of cookies, mm -hmm. and um, they did a couple, a couple nice items for us. Oh, as that's well for so the special! So it's like, in addition to all of the specialty baked goods you have every day, Valentine's Day. It sounds like yeah. you have a lot of great partnerships. Yeah, yeah, awesome. it's been great. I'm excited to explore with you. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're here in the prepared food section. Do you want to tell me if there's anything special I'm seeing that's uh, unique to Valentine's Day? Yeah, so one of the really fun things that we make are the heart-shaped raviolis. Um, they are stuffed with cheese, and we sell them in vodka sauce, we sell them plain, and we also sell them in a marinara sauce. Um, we sell them individually. We go through hundreds of them oh, for Valentine's they're so Day. So popular. Yeah, they're great. They're wonderful to bring home and have a nice cooked dinner with your special Valentine. They're also really good for kids. Most kids love sure. cheese ravioli, so if you're having a family Valentine's dinner, they're great for that too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, they're so adorable. I'm excited to go to the next section with you, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So we're back here at the pizza station, yeah. and as far as I understand, we did something unique here even for Valentine's Day. Yeah, so wow. we try and spice it up in all areas. So mm -hmm. we have a heart-shaped pizza, oh. and it's your classic margarita pizza, mm -hmm. um, mozzarella, tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Yum. perfect size for two, so you can share one with your significant other. Uh, it's also really good for kids, so you can always take them home to your family as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and we can also heat them up here if you want to oh, have them for lunch. Little Valentine's um, Day lunch exactly. too. How yeah, convenient. they're made in our kitchen, so uh, it's Lovely. something really special. And it's made in house. How delicious! Yeah. Well, I am so excited to see what you have to show me next. Yeah, come on, <laughs> let's go. So we're back here at the chef's table. Sarah, I see we have some special Valentine's Day offerings here. What are we looking at? Yeah, so today we have extra special cupcakes for Valentine's Day. Uh, these are stuffed cupcakes. So we have vanilla cupcakes that are stuffed with strawberries and whipped cream. And we also have a chocolate cupcake that's stuffed with Nutella and chocolate ganache. Uh, in addition, we have heart-shaped souffle cakes that are being made fresh back here, uh, as well as long stem strawberries that are being dipped in chocolate. Those are beautiful. Um, I can smell the strawberries yeah. from here. Yeah, it's oh. fabulous. And they're all special recipes that come from our chefs. Mm -hmm. uh, they're being made to order here, and um, it's really special. It, it just adds great energy to the store. It really has. It's so unique. Well, yeah. I've had so much fun with you, Sarah. Thank, Thank you, you me so too. much for making my Valentine's Day very special. Yes, and of course. Field. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank Butterfield for allowing me to experience Valentine's Day with them. This was so much fun. If you're interested in anything you saw in today's video, you can visit them either at their Lexington Avenue or Madison Avenue location while supplies last. Also, don't forget to follow them on Instagram at ButterfieldNYC. Until next time.